Alrighty, so we're just going to do kind of a basic, simple battle report here with some X-Wing. Uh, mainly I got the new Rebel Transport, so I, I definitely want to try that out. And so this is our first game. It's an epic game, so we're we're actually 301 points, so, you know, we're close. Um, but we'll go over a little bit of our list. I just made these boards here, too. Um... Uh, super simple. I mean, it's just spray paint and then splattering paint. I mean, that's it. So, uh, you can kind of see the asteroid placements. Um, I'm Rebels over here. You can kind of see the asteroids. Uh, and then my buddy's playing the Imperials. So, we're all done and set up. Uh, so, just to go over a little bit of, as far as what I have. I have the transport here. And then I have uh, Slicer Tools, I have uh, Torin Far, I have the Comms Booster, and then the Backup Shield Generator. So that's, those are kind of Backup Shield Generator. Uh, then I have uh, Tin Nub with Advanced Sensors and Marksmanship. <laughs> I then have Han Solo with Gunner, Chewbacca, Marksmanship, and the Millennium Falcon. Um, I have Jan Ors with the Ion Cannon Turret and an engine upgrade. Um, I then have Dutch Vander with the Ion Cannon Turrets. Um, I have Garvin with the R2 Astromech Droid. Um, Biggs, of course, R2-D2 and the Shield Upgrade. And then I have Tycho with uh, push the limit and cluster missiles. So with my deployment, obviously you got the transport here, I have Biggs here, um, Team Nub here, Garvin, um, Tycho, and then uh, Jan, Dutch, and then Han Solo over there. So, um, and then so let's go over uh, what we have on these bad boys. Murder. So the Imperials, we have three, so three Academy pilots. Boom, best, in, boom, boom. best in their class. Best in their class. Might, yeah. might add. Then we have uh, Captain Jonas with concussion missiles, looks like. And seismic charge. And a seismic charge, okay. Then we have... Uh, Major Rammer. Or... Uh, miss. Okay, so Major Rhymer. Same setup. Sorry, here. Major Rhymer, same setup. Concussion missiles, things like that. Canner Jacks. Canner Jacks. Uh, Kurt Kierkamas with the uh, stealth, stealth device. device. Sunter with, with push, push the, the limit. limit. Vader with squad leader. Okay. Crasis uh, Trellix with a heavy laser cannon and gunner. Okay. And Boba Fett with uh, expert handling and mercenary co pilot. Okay. Cool. And then so over here as far as for his deployment, we got the the triple the three amigos there. Um this is uh Crisis Trailix. There's Boba, uh Vader, um Jonas and then uh Rhymer, uh Kirkanos, and then uh Cranor Jax and then Suta Fell. And you kind of see where his placement is versus kind of my stuff. So, um, alrighty. So we'll go from there. Alrighty. So it is uh, end of the turn, uh, turn one, I guess. And the basic, you can kind of see. You know, I mean, everything kind of moves up. Usually, turn one, there's not too much that happens. Um, so moved up, kind of barrel rolled over a little bit. Moved up. Uh, these guys moved up just a little bit, so, you know, twos, threes, just to kind of gauge where everybody's at. Uh, the biggest thing I had, Tycho, uh, kind of moved him over, boosted to get within, um, range to target lock him, and then was out of firing arc. So, uh, Krasis was able to fire back, um, with the heavy laser cannon and the gunner, and I was able to make my, um evade so nothing really happened i did have to push the limit for that thing there um you kind of see redirection. erection you know a lot of that stuff came in uh Sutafel did run into one dude over there so he wasn't able to really kind of do an action and that's it so i mean the only real things that actually did something were these two guys so 
we what we're gonna do is do like kind of the MVP of the turn for each other. So that's that's it. All right. Okay, so I'm back. So this is just movement on turn two. So the uh, big boy moved up, got another energy. He did the uh, coordinate thing, so he allowed him to get another action. So this guy just moved up, so he did his marksmanship, and he gave him a target lock to target lock that guy. So you can kind of see Biggs went over here. Gavin moved over like that. Um, Tycho, which was over here, ended up, to kind of go this way to get out of range and boosted there. The TIE Fighters kind of separated a little bit. Um, Krasis uh, came over here. Um, you know, Boba. Um, I had used Dutch, moved up, and target locked Boba. Boba um, has the uh, expert handling, so he barrel rolled and then uh, got rid of my target lock. Um, that allowed her to target lock on one of these guys. He target locked them, da da da, same thing back. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff moved up. Uh, this dude here, what's his name again? Uh, Can 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 Canor Jax. Uh, moved up like five and then boosted in my way, so I ran into him here. Um, which he's also the guy that if you were within range one of him, you couldn't do do a focus or. A... Oh, I thought it. No, that's the. This is the guy you can spend and evade. Oh, uh, okay. So it can yeah. So anyways, I couldn't do an action anyway. So. Well, that's it. So we're going to go into shooting now. Um, so be kind of hectic. That's going to be a cluster. You know, I mean, that side's going to probably get lost for me. So um, we'll just have to see. All right. Okay, so end of shooting for round two. Um, so let's see. Big things that had happened was uh, over here with the firing, he did end up getting a critical. Got a crit on that guy. Um, Garvin. Um, which was, uh, real, I mean, really close in range, ended up firing it and, uh, ended up killing him. So, um, took out that TIE fighter. Uh, over here, uh, we, I used Han to fire on this guy, try to focus fire. I think he did a critical, which also, I just put a card underneath there too, so it equals two. Um... And then Jan uh, had fired on him too, and he uh, we ioned him and got one more damage. Uh, Jan had to use her stress thing to give him uh, four dice on the second attack for that to kind of work. Um, let's see, the Falcon got really murdered. Concussion missiles over here, firing with that guy too. So lost five shields and one did one damage. Um, Jan was fired upon, has two crits. One is a uh, stun pilot, one's injured pilot. So uh, can't use her abilities basically. And then if I overlap somebody, I take a damage. And she lost a shield too. So. Um, over here, lost three shields on this guy, um, and then that's kind of about it. So I, I got hurt pretty bad, although I did take out the first ship, um, but that's it. So go from there. Alrighty, so this is turn three uh, so far. It's a real cluster down over there of uh, kind of what's going on. So. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so you can see kind of one Academy pilot went there, one moved over this way, kind of barrel rolled over. Um, I was kind of trying to go this way. I opted to go like this with Tycho, and I was hoping that I could boost and kind of complete a little bit, but boosting would have put me on the asteroid, so I can't do that. Um, with Team Nub, I had went too forward, hoping I would miss that asteroid. Um, so then I could barrel roll over, but um, I actually ended up hitting it. But what I did with this guy, which was cool, is I moved up and did the coordinate action, gave him a free action, and he barrel rolled off of it. So now he can shoot at him. Um, you can see uh, Krasis kind of went this way. Um, I had moved up over here to try to get in front of Boba, um, and Boba went past me. Um, 
let's see, because I ioned, he only went one, then went over. I kind of moved two up to get past this mess, which worked. Vader ended up hitting uh, Jan here. So, um, you know, that's decent. And then uh, these guys went over, and I opted to do uh, like full four to try to get past some of this stuff, and I did. Um, got myself a little, uh, used my marksmanship, and so we'll see how the shooting goes. So, um, yeah, luckily the there's not much that could fire. I don't think there's anything that could fire at the Falcon, so that's, that's a big plus this turn. So, all right. So round three, um, I believe, and just after shooting, um, so let's see, nothing kind of really happened over here. Uh, Garvin lost a shield from the Academy pilot. Um, over here, this was a big, big one. Um, so got two criticals and a hit, so I ended up blowing up that Academy pilot. Um, my guy with combined fire from like him, Boba, like all over, got a hit and then two criticals. So I got damage sensor array and a damage cockpit. Um, so that guy's kind of fucked. Oh, you know what? I never fired him too. So I'm going to have to fire him also. Um, and then... I got, uh, this guy totally, uh, died, um, I think it was Sutafeld that killed him, um, Han Solo wasn't quite sure what to shoot at, I ended up shooting at him, got a critical, which did two damage and a hit, um, so ended up wiping him out, um, so basically I gotta fire my ion can, I didn't fire the ion can, so gotta do that and go from there. So, uh, shot him, ioned him again, he got another thing of damage, so, um, that's it. Alright. Okay, so turn four, uh, movement. Um, nothing too crazy going on. Uh, Krasis did a K turn here. Um, I ended up moving Tycho. Um, over here, so I'm kind of in range to fire off. Still have the target lock, got to focus. Um, over here, just trying to kind of move stuff out to get back in the fight over on this one. Um, so this TIE Fighter's definitely got, you know, shots on anything here. I guess I'll have to fire on bigs. But, um, and I was hoping, man, I it moved there, and I was literally, like, so close to just running that thing over and just murdering it with that giant transport, but uh, I didn't, so very close, but I did jam it, so it gave it two stress tokens, so hopefully we should be able to do something in the future with that. Um, over here, Dutch is just kind of hanging tough over there. Um... You know, Vader and Sutra fell over there. He had an ion token, so he just moved. Uh, Han is back there. Um, so, and then Boba is still moving around. Still has a stress token from a couple turns ago. And that's kind of about it. So we're we're going to see where, where we're at now shooting. Okay, shooting for turn four. So the basic things, I, uh, he tried to fire, or he fired his cluster missiles. Um, totally waste, didn't do anything, he rolled all his evades, and I didn't hit worth the shit, so that was kind of a waste. Um, over here, Vader just murdered Dutch, like one fatal, just shot, like three hits, just totally murdered him. Um, Han did fire on this guy, the one that kept getting eye on, and uh, ended up killing him, so did two criticals to him. And basically everything else kind of couldn't really fire. Uh, the Academy fire uh, pilot had to fire on two bigs and uh, missed. So um, that's it. So two ships gone, and it's getting getting close. All right. <laughs> okay, so movement. Um, you know, a lot of my guys, bigs, uh, Gavin. Um, Team Nub, all that kind of moved up. The uh, TIE Fighter moved five up there, which is kind of crazy. And then Suta Fells right up in the face there too. Um, with the transport, I moved up and then used the slicer to do a damage to um, that guy. 
Uh, this here ended up hitting him, so it can't really do anything. These guys are just kind of moving over, moving over, and then um, moving over. So that's basically where we're at. We'll go to shooting. Alrighty, so it uh, should be turn five, thinking. And let's go over what happened here. Um, so biggest thing, uh, Suta fell, fired onto Biggs and took out all three of his shields. Um, just to follow up on Biggs, uh, Krasis fired on him with three hits, did all of the whole points, so murdered him. Um, Han had fired on Vader and he lost his two shields. Um, we, let's see, who fired back? Uh, he fired on Sutafel, did some damage to him. And then uh, Garvin fired on him and killed Sutafel too. Um, the stupid academy pilot uh, ended up firing on the um, on Tin Nub and took out three shields. What a sucker, huh? And so that's it. So we got two things destroyed. Um, okay. Okay, so I think this is turn six, so a little bit of movement. Um, so as we can kind of see, some stuff moved up over here. Um, notable things, Vader ran into uh, Tin Nub, so couldn't get any actions. Um, everything else kind of moving over. The transport moved over. So one of the things was um, I opted to go this way with Tycho. Um, as opposed to this way, and crisis or crisis went that way. So, um, and then I boosted and pushed the limit for an evade to kind of get a little bit outside of range here. Then I used um, that thing, the action, um, the comms booster, and what it did is it got rid of the stress token and then gave him a focus. So we'll see if that's any good. And then I jammed up uh, Krasis with two stress tokens. So um, that's kind of where we're at. So we'll see what's happening. So turn six, uh, shooting. Um, happened first, Han blew up Vader. Murdered. Death kill. Um... <laughs> The uh, and he just spun off into space. <laughs> he just spun off space, right? He never actually dies. The force uses the force parachutes out there into space. Um, the bomber fired on um, T Nub actually ended up doing uh, how to use his target lock and ended up doing one shield or one damage to do a shield over here. Um, one of these two guys fired and everything so that. Uh, focus and then I made really paid through um, so that worked out very well and then um, Krasis fired at him and then I ended up losing one shield there so uh, that's it the movement um, it's called turn seven who knows if it's not turn or not um, so Tycho kind of went over there. Um, I pushed the limit to evade and focus. Um, the big behemoth moved up, ended up jamming uh, Kanor Jax, um, and then also used the uh, comm booster to get rid of a. Um, he did a, a red one turn that gave him stress, and I used my advanced sensors to marksmanship first. So got rid of that to give him a focus. Uh, Han moved over, which was good, kind of out of the way of the bomber a little bit. Um, Garvin ended up, uh, the this academy pilot moved over and then barrel rolled over right to where Garvin was going to be, so that kind of sucked. Uh, this dude hit that guy, and they're there. So we'll, we'll see shooting-wise now. Okay, so uh, I believe it's seven. This is just after shooting. Um... Uh, they fired on Tycho. He was able to uh, uh, use his evade and everything uh, to not get any damage. Um, over here from uh, Garvin and then um, who else fired on him? I think it was uh, 
Uh, Team Nub fired on him. He lost three shields, or Krasis lost uh, three shields. The um, bomber ended up getting three damage. W one of them was a crit, which was for two, so it's a total of three damage. And then uh, one more damage from the bomber on the um, Falcon. So the Falcon has no shields left and has two damage on it. So, all right. Okay, so uh, turn eight. So movement wise, um, let's see. Uh, moved over because he was stressed, couldn't really do too much else. Uh, Tycho, which was over here, kind of moved over and then boosted to try to be within range one here. Uh, he actually pushed the limit to get a focus too. Um, and then I used the uh, comm booster to get rid of the uh, stress token and give him another focus just for the hell of it. Um, just moved up, marksman, moved up, marksman, uh, moved up, focused, uh, this guy here banked over here, which was good, he still had some stress, um, and then these guys, I did the slicer on these two, so did one damage, and then he lost one shield, and then those guys over there, um, I think he ran into the, the TIE Fighter, uh, which the TIE Fighter did a K turn. And then the bomber went over there. So we'll see. Okay, so after shooting, um, I got lucky with Han and uh, killed the bomber at range three. So um, did three damage to it. Then we had um, just kind of a bunch of combined fire from Tycho, uh, Team Nub, uh, Garvin into Boba, and Boba lost five shields. Um, Garvin in turn lost one shield from uh, attacking back from, I think a Boba fired on him. And then um, Krasis fired on him and lost another hit. So, oh, no, actually that was from um, Academy Pilot. That's like been doing all the damage. So, that's it. On uh, turn nine. <laughs> It's getting, it's getting a little long, tedious. <laughs> so, uh, but just movement-wise, so uh, this homie kind of moved around over there, um, had boosted, did a green maneuver, got rid of his stress. Tycho uh, went this way, and uh, couldn't really do anything. Uh, did a K turn with this guy, and uh, did advanced maneuvers beforehand to do marksmanship. With this, I removed the stress and gave him a focus. He also then uh, jammed Boba again, um, marksmanship over there on that guy, uh, Boba is like that, to the academy pilot, and then he just moved forward to get rid of uh, one of the, his stress. So. Okay, so after shooting, um, I think this is turn 9, uh, basically uh, Garvin got wasted by Boba, and then uh, Boba got hit from um, Teen Nub and I think Han Solo. Maybe hit him once. So he got a console fire, damage cockpit, and then one, uh, one other damage. So. Okay, so I think pretty sure this is turn 10. So I think we're calling it here. So what had happened was um, they moved over, moved over. Th the uh, transport ended up moving where Boba was and so murdered him. Even though he only had like a couple whole points left, but uh, just took him out. So, and where I'm positioned at, um, you know, I mean, this guy's range one of there. I didn't, I haven't done any actions yet with him. Um, so there's not much Imperial ships are left, so... Um, overall, the epics, that, I mean, they're long games, uh, and, but fun, you know, it's kind of cool to have, like, a lot of named characters, and then the transport, uh, transport was interesting, just really a support ship, so, never got attacked, um, but really helped, like, put a lot of stress out, jammed up everything, uh, getting rid of stress, um, things of that nature is kind of what it did the most of. Uh, it's super slow. 
So, but interesting for Epic. I mean, it's definitely fun to have. So, what do you think of the transport? It was good. Yeah. I think I'd focus on it next time. Kill it. Mm hmm. So, but with the first game on there, uh, definitely, definitely interesting. So, I'm surprised Han lived. I like. I, I thought he was for sure gonna die after that first yeah, pass. Yeah. All righty.